Wittenstein's Innovation Factory has an impressive exterior design and impressive experiments inside. The staff have no fixed workplace. Instead, they push their equipment and materials through the new open plan office and take desks that are not in use at the moment. The new system is only a few weeks old. Sales, development, logistics and production all work closely together. The aim is faster product development. Basically, this system eliminates downtime, all the time spent finding agreement with colleagues, phoning everybody to schedule meetings. It's all superfluous. We don't need special appointments to interact because everyone sits together anyway and can collaborate on their projects directly. Wittenstein CEO Dieter Spat oriented the whole new building toward better communication. Short paths were crucial. It's less than 30 steps from production to development. Other departments are just a little further. Does this really foster communication and exchange? There's cross-fertilization through feedback from customers, ideas from research and development, and production's needs. But to implement such a system, you need a different working world, a communicative working world. The whole building is set up for encounters, seeing your colleagues, having an overview of everything, and coming together. Intensified contact aims to produce competitive advantages. The mid-sized company wants to stand out from the competition through innovations. That means the staff has to develop new electric drive systems for industrial robots faster than before. Customers expect ever shorter development phases. Where we used to have a year to bring a new product onto the market and serve our customers, now they have much higher expectations, more like half a year. We have to deliver the same or even a better result in half the time. That's the pressure we feel. 45, 46, 47 steps, and the sales manager is face to face with his colleague in production. Wittenstein invested 35 million euros in this new factory, and staff are speaking more frequently and intensively with each other than in the company's other plants. But does everyone like the changes? People differ. Some are open to new things, and of course they get with the program immediately. They see the advantages. And then there are people who want to preserve what they have. They want to work the same way they did before. But the arguments we have, faster delivery times to the customers and greater efficiency, get them on board too. Part of the new concept is better working conditions. Production here is astonishingly quiet. The forklift is the loudest machine here. So the overall atmosphere is more like an office than a factory. Our most important goal was to give production workers the same conditions as the people in administration. A clean working environment, low noise levels, no unpleasant smells. That means wherever needed we've installed exhaust ventilators. All our production machines are sound insulated to keep the noise level in production extremely low. The Innovation Factory develops new models faster. It used to take an average of eight months. Now the company estimates it takes seven. The new concept seems to be working.